Welcome back everybody. So last time we worked on that tower. And in today's episode I want to kind of come up with a reason for the pillagers have not destroyed the uh, city that's over there. And my reasoning is we um, actually have a support wall or have a defensive wall here that prevents them from coming over here with some guards. And that is going to be what we're going to do today. Um, do you have anything useful? No, of course not. Except for maybe some leads if you happen to drop them. So I'd imagine we're going to have some watchtowers here. So I'm setting up a kind of a... Uh, a base for the tower. So we're going to have a real large watchtower here. So these guys are just going to keep an eye out for pillagers. So any pillagers that kind of wander over this way, the guards in the guard tower are going to see them and we will be protected. And like I said before, the pillagers don't like the water, so they're not going to come through here and do too much of a fight to get through here. We got this wall here, and I think what I'm going to do is actually put in just a small, ooh, that's where, a small defensive wall right there. So that's what's going to keep them, keep them out. So they're going to come through here, and they're not going to be able to get into this area. I'm not going to put anything in here, but I'm going to, on the four corners, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I want to go up eight. Yeah, so that gives me a good view of everything. And then here. And one more over here. So that gives me a good view. And then I've got. Uh, Oak. Like this. And then here. And then for the floor, we're just going to use this terracotta. like a little balcony here oh and this is all going to be stripped like that so we'll have a balcony here where it overlooks everything and then this area back here is all going to be a building and actually the only thing I want to do is push this out Just a little bit. Let's get like that. Is that right? Yeah. I'm trying to think. I need a ladder to get up here. So maybe if I run one up the back here. And then it comes in there. I'm trying to build it out of materials that I think the pill not the pillagers, the villagers would have on hand. So if I put in my ladder up here like that. There. 
pillagers are going to have torches. I mean, they have lanterns too. But. So this would be the way in. Like that. There we go. That is the main building here. Let me put a uh, like a torch here and there. And then I just need to put some supplies up here and a roof on it. And then you'll just go down here. And then they get up there. Oh, and then here. I'm putting in like a little defensive wall right here. So that should keep the pillagers from wandering, you know, coming in to the tower and getting too close. And the rest of this all going to be all stripped out, like I said. build a ladder up there. I think I'm just going to build it out of uh, like that. And I have some ladders. There, so that gets us up here. So our guards can get up here and look around. For the roof, I've got these uh, andesite blocks or stairs, which kind of goes with the the base, which is all the polished andesite. So we got a nice fortified roof here. these this is pretty oh pretty simple there we go that takes care of that I think, oh, let's do like that, yeah. Maybe over here, I'm going to have a, a little watch, not a watchtower, a, a little fireplace right here. Doesn't have to be too fancy. Put in the uh, crafting table, maybe a chair. Maybe like a barrel. Let's do that barrel right there. So this is a pretty cozy looking place. And then for guards, I don't have anything that really shoots arrows and stuff. So I think it's not going to be really much help. Oops, how's that work? Maybe like that? No? There we go. Um, not much help shooting arrows and stuff, but you can keep an eye out. And intimidate because these guys scare the pillagers off 
So he'll be up here guarding things out. So that'll take care of the guard shack up here. Um, should I put a little roof on over on this side? Um, what could I use for wood? Uh, maybe just... Oh, I know. Maybe I've, I've got... I've got some stuff down here. Not that. Not that. Um, now, where is it? I'm looking for... I've got some uh, trap doors I was looking for. Maybe... There we go. Yeah, some trap doors. That is a big tower for such a tiny little building. But... think oh guess I didn't have any, as many as I thought I need uh, two more that's a shame like I said this is a tiny little building on top of a gigantic outpost but I think for its use you know, of defending the place. It's going to need to, it needs to be a little bigger than just a normal run of the mill. Speaking of running around the mill, this is, okay. I'm running around like a chicken with head cut off for a minute here. Let's do this. There we go. Got that. Oh, and let's, um, do that. Because now that I look at this other side, I think it'll look better if we take out these two blocks here and give it a window. And then maybe the same over here, but up high. Do a window like that. Um, let's see. Bye. There we go. Pick up my blocks. And sorry, you can't come in from the rain. I guess I can open that up like that. And you can come in from the rain. Just to be nice to him. There. Uh, that does mean I don't have a barrel in here, but maybe if I put it, I can put a barrel like over here. I don't see a problem with that. And then I can do these two here. So that takes care of this place. Oh, I know one more thing I want to do. There. It didn't look like it was like supported. So let's get a good look here. I mean, ideally, I probably could have used some walls or something for the for the pillars to hold it up, make it look more like a like a hunting stand or something. But I think this this gives off a good scary impression. So people coming over here know that like there's something going on up there. There's a guard there. They're watching you. So I think the next thing I need to do is just, I want to run a wall all the way around here. So along here, we'll put a gate here to keep out riffraff. And then the walls are going to go across here and then up over to this area. And I've gone through here and adjusted this hill so now there's you can't get over it. Everything's at least two. Most of the places it's three. So the pillagers can come through here all they want, but they can't get up over anything. And then once you get over to here, we'll run the wall will start up again, coming out of here and run all the way over to match up with this hill. And we should be able to surround the whole city with a 
wall, not too big, that will keep the pillagers from wandering through. You know, I've got the one watchtower there. I don't know if I need one on top of the hill there. That's a good spot for one. But I may add one up over here someplace. But I think what I'm going to do is hop into a quick time lapse to add all that wall in there. And then when I come back, uh, we should be uh, pretty secure here. finishes the wall so you can see I, I, I'm up here on top of the hill where I can get a good look at everything and you can see here's where we started out little gate going in here over to the pillager tower and then the wall just sort of goes all the way around the village luckily there's this huge cliff here which really protects this this whole site is pretty well protected by the natural landscape but I did have to put the wall over there, another uh, lookout tower right over there. And then the wall just follows all the way across that field. We have another lookout tower there. Got the gate going out that way, which is, uh, I think that's north. 
And then I just sort of carried it around here. Got another lookout tower on top of that hill. Even added in some stairs here to get up there. And then just followed the ridge line all the way around to that tower. And then it goes down into the bay. So that all overlooks this. So this is the whole village complex. I mean, the village is really over there. But this really explains why the pillagers can't get over here. Because they can't get past the wall. And then we have all the sentries on all the points. So this is a well-defended house. Or a uh, well-defended village, actually. So all the houses are protected from uh, pillager attacks. Uh, it's not totally lit up, so I did have a bunch of mob stuff. But I think now I can finally say we are done with this area. I've updated the village. I've got the village protected. We have the pillager tower in place for those guys. Our ruins. Um, I'd once considered putting the boat there, but I don't feel like it right now. So I think we are just going to head out from here and uh, see what we got on the way back home. Ooh, creeper. I'll have to wait till creeper goes. Anyhow, I want to thank you all very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And uh, have a wonderful day, everybody. I'll see you later. Bye bye.